Hi, so to find the best quadratic approximation of a function near a point, um, you would need this equation, but this is this equation is in one dimension. So our our function has two variables, which means it's in two dimensions. So we would insert x and y. So we would have an h1 and an h2, and that would give us f of oh our points is one one, so x and y will be one and one, and that gives us right. So just plugging these two into this and replacing x with x and y, which is one and one, you get. Okay, you get that equation, right? So, what we're going to do, we're going to solve this in sections. We will do, start with this section, and then we will go on to this one. So, first of all, we're doing this section. Um, this, I'll, so number one, number two. So, for number one, um, let's solve gradient of f of this first. So gradient, so our original function is 2x squared x, y cubed. If you take the gradient of this, you get, um, take the partial derivative with respect to x for the first coordinate, which would be 4x y cubed, then take it to in respect to y, which would be 6 x squared y squared then you plug in your point one 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 you get four and six um, then you you're trying to find or so you find your gradient then you multiply you cro, cro, dot cro, dot product it with h and h2 oops Right. To dot product it, you do first one times first one plus second one times the second one. So it's four h one plus six h two. And then we have the this portion. So you plug one and one back into the original equation. You get two. This actually, this part of the equation actually gives you the best linear approximation. So the best linear approximation would be 2 plus 4h, 1 plus 6h2, which is these two together, which is this part. Um, but that's not what we're trying to find. We're trying to find the quadratic approximation. So on to the second part, this part up here. Um, so the hardest part of this part of the equation is the Hessian. So we will start with that. We are finding the Hessian of F. It will be set up in this sort of a matrix. Oops, this is a Y. Um, this, this part, you're trying, um, you take the partial derivative of the original in respect to X twice. So you're, this is already done once. This is already done once, so do it. Um, take it in partial derivative in respect to x once more. You would get for y cubed. This take it in respect to y, then in respect to x. This is once y already, so x would be 12x y squared. Then this one is take it once of x, then y. So and this is y twice. Um, plugging back in um, the point, you get 4, 12, 12, 12. Then we go back to the equation, um, to this equation. 
it's half H1, H2, put in the matrix, the Hessian, then H1, H2. Now you're just multiplying matrices. I'm going to do these two matrices first. So H1 times 4 plus H2 times 12, this one times this one, this one times this one. You get 4H1 plus 12H2, and then you leave a space, and your second um, part of this matrix is H2 times 12 plus H2 times, or H1 times 12 plus H2 times 12, which is 12H2, and then you put this back in. Now you multiply these two matrices. This times H1 plus this times H2, you get, oops, you get 4H1 squared plus 12H2H1 plus, oh shoot, yeah, plus 12H1H2 um, 12 H2 plus 12H2 squared, right? Now, just simplifying this, you get 2H1 plus 12 H1. Right, so to get the best quadratic approximation, you, um, you just, I have both parts of the original equation. This is the equation. I have both parts, so you just add it together to get the best quadratic equation, approximation. So, 2 plus 4H1 plus 6H2 plus 2H1 squared plus 12H1, H2 plus 6H2, oops, I hope you can still read that, okay. If the problem was to find the best quadratic approximation, then you would be done, this would be your equation. But if the, the question asks, use your best quadratic approximation equation to find, um, for example, this, these points, you would, um, H1 would be the difference, this is our original point, so H1 would be the difference between this one and your original, which would be 0 0.02. And H2 would be the difference between this one and your original, which is negative 1, right? So you just plug H1 and H2 into your best your equation that you found. You get... And plug that into your calculator or do it in your head, you get 2.019. So, if you wanted to check that, you, you go the actual, you plug these points in, oops. You would get, this is the original equation. Right? So you just plug that in. You get 2.018998. And so our approximation is almost exactly the same as our actual number. So, yep, that's it. That means your best quadratic approximation equation is Correct. Yay.